If you are into home automation, and if you want to make a project like this, without writing a single line of code, then you are in the right place. Today, we are going to build a home automation system with AI, and ESP32 microcontroller. We are going to show you how to control 4 relays, using your smartphone. We will also be adding DHT11 sensor, to measure temperature and humidity. You can also use voice commands, to control the devices. Turn on light 1. Turn off light 1. You can also connect this project with Alexa Echo devices, or with Google Home. The best part is that, you won't have to write any code for the project. Instead, we'll be using Cadio, an amazing platform that will take care of everything for us. To work with Cadio, you first need to install the Cadio firmware, on your ESP32 board. It's an easy process, you just need to download the latest Cadio firmware, from the Cadio official website. After that, you need to download the ESP Flash download tools. Here you just need to download the ESP Flash download tools. Once the download complete, extract the zip files on your computer. After extracting the files, you just open the ESP Flash download tool. Here, you will need to select ESP32 as chip type. Next, we will need to add the firmware files in the ESP Flash download tool. To do this, go to the folder where the firmware is saved. Here, these are the folders which contain the firmware files for ESP32 microcontroller. Next, you just need to copy the location of the first folder. Then, go to ESP Flash download tool. Here, browse the location for the first folder and then select the file inside. Next, you need to copy the name of the first folder, and then paste it into the first field of flash tool. Next, I will select the second file. Then, copy the name of second folder. The same way, you can add the remaining two files, into the ESP flash tool. So, let's quickly add the remaining two files into the ESP flash tool. Next, we will set flash speed to 80 MHz, and set the flash mode to DIO. After that, click on the erase button, to clear the ESP32 flash memory. Once the flash memory is erased, select all these files, that we have added before. And then click on start button, to download the firmware onto the ESP32. In just a few seconds, the Cadio firmware will be downloaded onto the ESP32. When the download is complete, just reset your ESP32 module. Then press and hold the boot button for more than 3 seconds, and check the blue LED of the ESP32. If it starts blinking, then it means the ESP32 is now in configuration mode, and you can control it using the Cadio app. You can install the Cadio app from Play Store. Now open the app to configure the ESP32. Here, create a new account using your email and entering password twice. Next, we will create the info file with configurations. So, go to the configuration section. Here, we will connect our mobile phone to the ESP32 Wi Fi network. Here you can see, the network name starts with, Cadio, and it is created by the ESP32. After connecting to the Wi-Fi, the configuration page will open. Here, first we will select our relays module as, Active High, because I am using the Active High relays. Next, I will set the indicator LEDs. Here set the Wi-Fi LED, and the config LED, to Active High. Next, in the devices section, add all the devices, by including 4 on off devices for the relays, and 1 device for DHT11 sensor. Next, you need to specify the GPIO pins, to which each relay is connected. You can refer the wiring diagram for GPIO pins. Finally, 
Select the GPIO pin for the DHT11 sensor. Next, here is the wiring diagram. You just follow it to make the connections. Please note that this system involves high voltage connections. So take all necessary precautions to prevent electric shock or injury. Now we have created the info file. Next, we will send this info file to the ESP32. Soon, the configuration page will appear and it will scan the home Wi Fi networks. Next, we need to select our Wi Fi name and then enter the password details so that our device can connect to the internet. Then enter the unit name, you can enter any name for the unit. Now tap on here and the system will start connecting to our home network and to the internet. After some time, the dashboard will appear on the screen. If you want to change the names of the devices, you just long press on the device and the device properties will appear. Here click on settings to display the setting page. Here, you can enter the name for your device. You might also change the icon for the device. Here lot of icons are available, you can select any of them. Next, tap on DHT11 device and open the settings of the device. Here you need to select the sensor type as DHT11 to display the temperature and humidity data correctly. Now the project is ready for testing. You can also link your account to Google Home and Alexa. Instructions for linking can be found in the CADIO documentation. Simply follow the instructions to integrate the Google Home and Alexa with your project. OK Google. Turn on light one. Got it. Turning the light one on. Turn off light one. Okay, turning the light one off. Alexa. Turn on light one. Okay. That's all. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Bye.